What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we are doing Vidmaster Challenge 100 drops. So to do this you need to gain a gold medal and complete all objectives in Gate Crashers on Legendary. So this is the first mission of Operation Spearbreaker, first of two. So start up that mission, you need to do it on Legendary, and you need to do this all on one playthrough. You can't just get all uh, the objectives or some of the objectives one playthrough and then get the other objectives uh, on another and then gain a gold medal separately and do it on legendary separately uh, so that is unfortunate we gotta do it all at once but to start off this mission uh, it's pretty straightforward at the start just follow the directions uh, that you are being given here um, we just go up behind this uh, big controller sentinel and uh, take him out from behind so you can see he has that big shield on the front of him but if we go up behind him he has a, a vulnerability back there so run up behind him take him out from behind and uh, I do have one skull on. Um, if you put a bunch of beneficial skulls on, your multiplier will go uh, significantly down. So for that reason, I didn't put anything on except for, uh, what is it, Nightmare, I think. It's the one that uh, doesn't allow you to get a checkpoint. So I don't really use checkpoints at all anyway. So uh, might as well get that extra boost. Uh, if you do bank on checkpoints and rely on them, feel free to leave it off. Um, don't put Nightmare on. But if you don't find yourself using checkpoints that often, uh, might as well get some extra points. Um, but we'll probably clear this uh, this point threshold pretty easily even without it. So you can take it off if you really want to. But uh, again, we're just following directions at this point. Uh, I sped this video up to two times speed. Um, we're just going through the motions at this point. Uh, still following directions. Kind of annoying when you're uh, on your 10th or 12th playthrough. It's kind of teaching you how to deal with these things. And you're like, I, already, I know how to do it, guy. Let me move on. So go through this uh, teleporter and then immediately run away. So what we're doing here is uh, one of the objectives is to have a controller sentinel blow up five enemy bases. So to do that, we're just going to run away. And I ran away too far. Now I'm uh, fighting these guys down here. I didn't want to run quite that far, but that's all right. I guess we'll just take these guys out while we're here. And meanwhile, the controller sentinel, uh, when we go through that teleporter, is fighting some covenant. And usually we take him out from behind while he's distracted. But for this purpose... We're just going to let him take out the Covenant, or the Banished, not not the Covenant, um, but the Banished, and then uh, he will take out that base right there, and that's four buildings, so it counts as four out of five of the uh, the buildings that he will need to blow up for uh, that objective to be complete. So then I use my holographic decoy, sent those guys right past him, he turned around and exposed his back to us for my actual units, and now I'm going to move up and put my uh, ODST squad in that uh, garrison there. And I will start building this base here. So this is, uh, we're pretty much going to sit here for a while and build up this base. I'm going to skip ahead in a little bit just because uh, it takes a while to build everything up. But I'll tell you what you need to do. So I don't have my, oh for here I guess I'll tell you what I do. I make two generators and three supply pads. And then obviously uh, you want to upgrade those as soon as possible to advanced generators and heavy supply pads. So you can see that's what I'm doing here now. And uh, you can see that I didn't take this, uh, this power node at first. Um, there's A, B, C, D, and E that we need to take eventually to complete the mission. And I'm not taking A right away um, because once you do that, a, another controller sentinel will come at you. So I'm just kind of delaying that until I have a bunch more units uh, to take them out much more easily. So we're really just going to hang out here for a little bit and... Uh, upgrade our base and all our units. We're going to do the same thing we did for my legendary guide, which is just build a ton of mantises. Mantises. I, I haven't looked it up since uh, I made that legendary guide. I don't know what the plural of mantises is. Pl plural of mantis? I don't know. Anyway, build a couple turrets on the front of your base. So let's skip ahead here. For some reason, I did not gather the free supplies around my base. You can see on either side, there's some supplies just hanging out. So grab those. Um, I upgraded while we were, uh, while I skipped ahead, I upgraded my base to a bigger base whatever that upgrade is, to tier 2. So now I'm building a field armory and a uh, vehicle depot. And there are a bunch of uh, units coming at me now. And we're just going to use the field armory to upgrade our turrets first, our uh, our base upgrade, whatever that thing's called. And then uh, for the garage, or not, it's not a vehicle bay or whatever I said, it's a garage. The thing that makes vehicles uh, build a bunch of mantises. And uh, we're just going to wait around and wait for those to come out. How out of the oven. So just hang out here. You can see I'm building the turret here. Uh, in the back of the base here, I'm going to build a couple siege turrets. You can see I already have one built there. And that really helps out because a lot of... 
well not a lot but occasionally there'll be a handful of uh, enemy units that come at your base and just annoy you while you're trying to build your army minding your own business uh, they come at you and they're like hey what's uh, what's going on over here maybe I could uh, maybe I could shoot it a little bit and you're just like I'm not into that I'm gonna shoot back at you and then uh, we uh, are annoyed by it because sometimes they just uh, take out a lot of your army that you're trying to build up until it's uh, pretty sizable so it could be annoying but uh, don't fret that's what the siege turret is for I'm gonna build a second one in a little bit but uh, I'll skip ahead in a few seconds or so but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing now uh, basically build the field armory He's, uh, he took out a bunch of my army with that hunter's brand I'm not into it that's what I was talking about but uh, it'll, it'll only happen a couple times uh, when you're building up your base here um, and then you can really pour your resources into building these mantises which you've basically been doing the whole time it just takes a little while to uh, actually train all the units which is annoying there we go alright tier 3 unlocked so make sure you upgrade your base uh, so you can upgrade continue to upgrade uh, all your uh, units and everything and we're just gonna basically max out everything in this field armory uh, the reason I upgrade the uh, the thing at the top first is because uh, that helps your turrets the turrets become more powerful uh, when you upgrade that so that's why I'm focusing on that and then for the vehicle bay or not vehicle bay the garage obviously once you build a ton of your mantises you want to upgrade your tier level to tier 3 tier 3 vehicles uh, the highest one and obviously you want to use those couple upgrades on the, uh, the left of the mantis you can see there's a couple mantis specific upgrades uh, one gives you a shield and increased damage and then the other one gives you some kind of increased damage and something else just just get it all gotta catch them all except for uh, there's not nearly as many there's not 151 upgrades thank god that would take a while but uh, I'm gonna skip ahead again here I'm just building my army and getting all of the uh, the tech researched all right, here we are a few minutes later with our big group of mantises. I'm going to eject the ODSTs and finally capture this power node, power node A. We've been sitting next to it for a long time. Uh, I use this holographic decoy. This is just a throwaway decoy. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because there is the optional objective or bonus objective. I forget which one it is. Uh, but you have to distract 10 controller sentinels with the holographic decoy. So I'm just working on that optional objective uh, while we're sitting around here. So sent a bunch of holographic decoy guys over to the uh, the middle of the map where there's three controller sentinels. And now is uh, the time where one heads our way because we took that first power node and now one is coming at us. So we're just going to take him out. Uh, you don't really need to do much maneuvering because there's so many of your mantises. Um, just kind of put yourselves smack dab in the middle so you kind of surround this guy. Um, and then it doesn't really matter which way he's looking. He's going to get shot from either side. Or just split your forces like I did there. Normally I just kind of swarm the guy. But anyway, um, we're pretty much mostly upgraded. You're going to see me uh, do some final upgrades over here. Um, I might not have everything maxed out yet, but we have enough where I'm just going to move forward. So for this part, I'm going to move my ODSTs up to capture uh, power node B. But I'm going to keep my mantises far away from that mini base over there. You can see at the top of the screen there's a mini base. And my siege turret is actually firing at it, which I don't want. So, uh, fortunately, the ODSTs capture this power node quickly enough where I don't have to worry about the siege turret actually taking out that many base in its entirety. The reason I don't want to take it out is because we're going to capture this power node and we're going to run away so that uh, controller sentinel that comes over to that power node to check on things like, hey, what's uh, wrong with this power node? Uh, he actually takes out that mini base and that completes one of the optional objectives to uh, destroy five mini bases or five buildings, enemy buildings, by... Uh, luring the controller sentinel over to it and having the controller sentinel take it out so that's what we're doing over there uh, one thing you should probably do before you do that is have the mantises that you have uh, go clear out the entire uh, group of enemies uh, the banished enemies that are kind of in his way you can see the banished enemies almost took him out he's uh, very weak so if I just cleared out the area in front of him in between where he starts in the middle of the map and that power node power node B um, we wouldn't have to worry about that fortunately uh, he was not taken out. You can see he is fighting. The fog of war does not seem to affect the controller sentinels for whatever reason, whether it's an oversight or just something they want you to be able to see. Uh, you could see him fighting those enemies. Fortunately, the enemies were in front of him, so he didn't get uh, picked off from behind because you can see he has almost no health left. But uh, he's taken out this mini base, and that will uh, complete that 
complete that objective. You can see right there that has been completed. Now we're going to go kill them because that's uh, one of the other objectives. We need to kill all eight controller sentinels on this map. So this one's number four, I believe. Four or five. I think five. Yeah, it's five. All right. So we're going to go to... Uh, oh, again, I'm going to distract some uh, more controller sentinels. The third one in the middle of the map there. Just send some holographic holographic decoys over there. And another uh, object over here is kill the two Goliaths. And where are they? One's over here. So check out where I am on the mini map. Mini map? Did I say mini map? Mini map. And there's a, uh, a Goliath over there alongside this banish base. We're going to take out this banish base and uh, start one of our own. And there's actually one of the uh, other optional objectives is to activate all three holograms. Uh, we started off the mission uh, very soon after we started the mission. Uh, we have to activate one to get to this uh, main area of the map. So you start off with one of three, basically. And then you got to find the other two in this area. So the other one is over here. We're going to activate that in a little bit once we're done taking out this banished base. So what I like to do when I'm taking over a base is I like to circle around the map, or not the map, the base, and uh, make sure I take out all the turrets. Because obviously the turrets could do damage to you, while the base itself cannot. So might as well take those uh, guys out and then focus on the uh, the buildings. Uh, obviously you want to focus on the buildings that could build units uh, as a secondary objective. So take out all the turrets, then take out all of the... Uh, the bases or the buildings that could produce units and then take out the uh, the remaining uh, buildings and the main base itself obviously so uh, what do we got for objectives here I'm gonna take out this little sensor tower and put up a turret here for myself and uh, once you take out this base that base over there it will actually queue one of the other bonus objectives or optional objectives which is to find and defend India Company's Nightingale so once you blow up that base Make sure you have enough units and they're healthy enough and everything uh, and you're ready to run across the map because you can see there's an icon over here leading you towards this uh, little cliff. It's a, like a little outcropping. A little uh, rise in the terrain and there's a nightingale. So I just swarm it and uh, surround it so I could protect it. You have to protect it for 30 seconds once you get there. Um, once you blow up that base, you have 5 minutes to get there and then once you get there, you have 30 seconds where you have to defend it. So just surround it, and it's pretty easy if you just surround it with a bunch of mantises. So we can see what we have done here so far. Um, use the hollow decoy to distract. Controller done with, I believe. Uh, lure the sentinels near banished buildings to destroy them. Uh, that's one we have completed. Eliminate controller sentinels. That's one you'll just do uh, in the process of completing this mission. Uh, the other one is uh, activate the three hollow projectors, which you can see uh, the second one was over by that base I started building right here. Uh, once I took out that banish base and uh, I did activate it um, I didn't say when I activated I was talking over it but I did activate it uh, it's over in that corner there um, and the third one is uh, at another place in between E and D uh, along the corner of the map there there's kind of a like an angle on the outskirts of the map uh, between E and D so that's where we're going to uh, go to activate that third and final hollow projector uh, kill both Goliaths. We killed the one by this base. There's another base uh, by uh, E or D, which, whichever one. Um, so we're going to go take D, and that will be uh, where the second Goliath is. Find and defend India Company's Nightingale. We already did that. And then rescue India Company's captured Wolverines. Uh, the Wolverines are in the center of the map, and we're going to do that at the end. Uh, so we have a bunch of units to take out the Retriever Sentinel at the end. So over here. In between E and D, like I mentioned, there is the final hollow projector. So we have activated that. And now we're going to go and take out another banish base. And that's where the uh, second Goliath is. So, obviously if you haven't uh, gotten all the hologram distractions yet, where you need 10, just keep using those uh, for no reason really and just send them at controller sentinels. There's two at the bottom of the map by uh, power node E at this point. So if you still don't have that, uh, just throw a bunch of holograms at that guy. So that's the only one you need to worry about uh, kind of doing. That's one where you could uh, accidentally not do it. Especially with all these mantises, they tend to be pretty good at taking out everything. You don't really need too many holograms. 
So that's one you might overlook. So make sure you uh, are monitoring your status on everything. You could hit the back button and it'll pull up your uh, your progress. And you can see that I did that earlier in this mission. What's annoying about this part is the living barriers. So when I call in reinforcements in that mini base, that mini base I created a garage so I could call in uh, Mantis reinforcements instead of having them uh, walk all the way across the map from my first base. I just have them come from that mini base there. But the problem is there's those living barriers, so uh, they don't know what to do. So we're going to destroy some of those, get them out of our way. And uh, you can see I haven't focused on this power node yet because I've been distracted by all these uh, enemies coming at us. But that's all right. So destroy these living barriers, make a path for yourself again, have the ODSTs capture that power node. You can see we have two of these uh, objectives left. One is obviously uh, destroy the 10, or not the 10, the 8 controller sentinels. And then the other one is rescue the captured wolverines, which again is something uh, I do at the end. You could do it right in the beginning if you want. It'll give you three wolverines. Uh, I like to use them at the end, and that way I have them uh, on top of my regular population of 120. I have three more wolverines on top of that, so I have 132 out of 120 on my population cap. And that's good for taking out that retriever. So we're going to move all our units down towards uh, this final retriever, down hanging out at the bottom. We're actually going to take him out before we even uh, use that last power node, before we capture that last power node. Usually we uh, take the power node and then the controller sentinel comes after us and he's like, yo, what's the deal? This time we're taking the deal to him. And here you can see we have all objectives. Uh, again, hit that back button and you can see your progress. You can see what you need to do still. Um, there are seven objectives. Uh, they don't appear until you start them. So if you, for instance, uh, never killed a controller sentinel, it wouldn't pop up on your display there when you hit the back button. So if you have less than seven, that means you haven't uh, started one or more of those objectives. So make sure you have seven optional and bonus objectives completed, um, and then you could proceed to the end of the mission. So we took out the final controller sentinel. We captured the final uh, power node here, and now we got to go over here to the uh, little console over here we're going to activate. And at this point, uh, maybe a little bit before this point, I start making wolverines instead of mantises because we're just going to fight a retriever sentinel and wolverines are anti-air units so we're going to fight uh, an air unit so we want anti-air so here comes the big bad retriever sentinel he comes across the bridge once you activate it and just lay into him here fire on all cylinders he'll spit a bunch of plasma at you but just lay into him um, he will eventually call in a bunch, like a swarm of uh, sentinels and constructors. So you have to take out the aggressor sentinels, which is the like default sentinel that you know and love from all the other Halo games. The standard sentinel are the ones you need to take out, and that will uh, cause all the other sentinels, the swarm, to run away. So you can see there's a cluster in the front here of aggressor sentinels, the normal ones. Once you take those guys out, uh, the swarm dissipates. And then you can start fighting the uh, the actual retriever again. So you need to do this four times. Uh, basically, his health will go down to 75% the first time, then down to 50% the second time, 25%-ish the third time, and then the fourth time you engage him, he will go down and uh, he will blow up. Except he doesn't really blow up, he just kind of disappears. But that's all we really care about, the fact that he's not here anymore and the mission is over. So we retreated. Um, I was losing some units because... Uh, there was, uh, that swarm pretty much uh, was doing a number on me, so I retreated, gathered a few more wolverines, and now I'm coming back at him. And uh, here we go. And you can see he just goes up and runs away, disappearing, never to be seen again. And that is the end of the mission there, once you take out that retriever sentinel. So that's it. We completed this on Legendary, completed all the objectives, and we're going to see here in a hot second... 336,000, and you only need 160,000, so we actually doubled the, uh, more than doubled the gold star score, or whatever it is, gold, whatever. So one thing you want to take into account is how much time you're taking. If you get a ton of time over part-time, you'll be penalized for it. So you can see I hit a little under part-time. Um, if you finish within five minutes or so with part-time, 
um, you'll be fine. Clearly there's a lot of room for error here with this strategy and my run through here because I'm more than double the gold threshold here. But also remember I have the Nightmare Skull on as well so that definitely uh, multiplied my score a little bit. But as you can see it's unnecessary. It gives you a 40% boost but uh, I was well over the threshold for gold before that even kicked in. So, But that's it for this one guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch and Mixer at SilverScorpion4. And check out my podcast called Halo Conversationalist, and I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.